Hey guys, wanted to do a video because I saw where some comments were made and I've actually heard this in our industry multiple times and it's this misinformation where folks are comparing regular disposable filters with these whole house home filters and there's some misinformation out there. Now, I think that first of all, if we're talking about old fiberglass filters that you could see through, of course, something that you can't see through is going to have a little bit higher static pressure. But this misnomer that that some of these filters add all this static pressure and it's going to cause problems with your heating and air system is just simply not true. I would say that the same folks that are making that argument and a lot of times are just simply not sizing their ductwork correctly. So let's go through this and I've actually made some little pieces of paper that I'm going to use for some of my uh, arguments or positions, if you will, that I think will help you understand if you're a homeowner watching this. The first thing is, I just want this piece of paper, let's just say this represents a filter, right? So imagine this is much larger, right? But this is a pleated disposable filter. A lot of times when people hear about higher MERV ratings and things like that, the higher the MERV, the more particulates it will move from the air but sometimes folks will make the argument well you know it's it because it's you know a tighter screen if you will so if you imagine like a screen that has holes that big versus a screen that has holes like that big right hopefully you see the analogy i'm making there but basically the holes are smaller if the merv rating is higher right it's removing more particulates from the air and across the industry for the most part it is true to say that the static pressure will go up a little bit if the merv rating is higher however unlike a lot of these filters that you you see in hardware stores and things like that a lot of times if they are having problems it's because the issue is more about surface area of the filter a lot of times when you see problems with a lot of these filters in hardware stores I think the argument is valid that they are just restricting the air too much and it's causing problems with that system it puts more in wear and tear on that system the static pressures are so high that it's actually harder on the indoor fan motor and you're not getting enough airflow through there at times to condition your home or heat your home properly anyway. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about if you're comparing a disposable one inch thick filter with these four inch thick whole house home filters that you can install in systems now that this misnomer that well it's it's four inches thick versus one inches thick so now it's adding all this static pressure and it's horrible for your system and all this stuff. The guys that are saying that I would probably argue that they either again are they're not installing the ductwork or sizing the ductwork properly or they've just not installed enough of the whole house home filters to really know what they're talking about. The first thing is if you're talking about a four inch versus one inch filter, it's not as if you took that one inch thick filter and added four layers to it, right? Unlike say a reverse osmosis water filter where there's just all these filters the water has to go through to come out clean. A lot of these media filters are not four inch thick, one inch filters. Okay, it's not all those put together and restricting the air like that. Instead, a lot of them look more like that. Okay, and because of that, there is a lot more surface area that that air has got to pass through in that media. So let's talk about that for a second. If you're looking at this filter, and let's just say this filter is a 14 inch wide and 20 inch tall filter. That would mean you're looking at 280 inches, square inches of surface area. And as air passes through there, it will catch particulates, it'll get dirtier, it'll start to restrict the airflow a little bit more. Of course, static pressure will go up and that's why you're supposed to replace them every 30 to 90 days. Whereas a whole house home filter, when it's sitting in there, so imagine you've got you know, this one inch thick filter now replaced by this four inch media filter, so the air's gotta pass through there. This sucker's got all this extra surface area, right? If you were to cut the sides off of that filter and pull that accordion out of media, 
you've got all this extra surface area. And in a lot of cases, that's why these whole house home filters will last way longer than a disposable 30 day, 60 day, 90 day filter. They have just simply more surface area when that air is passing through there. And I've talked about this in other videos, but if you do the math, so if you're spending, let's say you're spending five to $15 a month on disposable filters and you're replacing it with a whole house home filter that needs to be replaced once a year and it's about 30 or 40 bucks for that media, if you do the math, these end up costing more. So the fact that you wouldn't even look at this because it costs so much extra for the filter is just silly. When you do the math after a year, this is way more superior for cost savings. Another thing would be, I know we talked about the particulates that these catch. In a lot of cases, the MERV ratings are so much higher on these whole house home filters that they're able to last that year long, right? Because of all the extra surface area, but they have a whole lot more higher MERV rating and it's cleaning the air in your home and your system before it goes through your system way better than these disposable filters. So I've actually seen people use these filters and they change them religiously and they're very good about having clean filters put in there, but still their system is filthy because they don't filter out the air as well. And there's other reasons too. It could be because of the duct work and, and things like that and it's pulling in particulates in other areas, but in general, these are gonna filter the air better. And the last thing I'll say is a lot of times when, again, if we're getting back to the scenario where we're comparing static pressure, yes, when you put this filter in and it's got a very low MERV rating, the air can pass through it a whole lot easier and the static is very low, but as this filter gets dirtier and dirtier and it's not replaced as often as it should be, then the static pressure advantages are out the window anyway. So I would dare argue that after a few months when you're not replacing this like you should, the whole house home filter that we've been talking about is a lower static than this, okay? Because of all the surface area, again, in that whole house home filter, it can last much longer as long as you're replacing it like you should, after those 60 to 90 and even longer days when you're not replacing this like you should, this has less static. So there's all this information on the internet. You can actually go where they've actually tested this filter versus this filter. And yes, there have been studies that show a lower MERV rating disposable filter will have less static pressure than a whole house home filter. But when you consider all these other advantages that this has and and the fact that the static that it adds to the system is very minimal in a lot of cases. Now, if you start getting up above 14 MERV, then maybe that might change. You need to consider the static that it's adding to the system. But if it's lower than 14, we're talking minimal static in a lot of cases. The system is not gonna operate any different when you add it in there anyway. So you're talking about cleaner air, a filter that doesn't need to be replaced as often, and in some cases, when you're comparing it long term, a lower static than the cheap disposable filters. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I know I've been just kind of throwing up, it looks like I've been doing arts and crafts around here, but hopefully that makes sense if you're looking at a whole house home filter and your heating and air guy has told you out of his ignorance that they add too much static pressure to your system. All that said, if you're in the market for a heating and air system and you're in the Northern Neck or Middle Peninsula of Virginia, give us a call here at Griffin Air. We'd love to earn your business. We'll give you a 12 year parts and labor warranty and a free estimate. But if you're not in Griffin Air's coverage area, and you are in the market for a new heating and air system, before you spend thousands, check out my website, newhvacguide.com. I've put so much information on there. A lot of it, heating and air manufacturers and contractors don't even want you to know. I've got a page called No-Nos, things to stay away from. I've got a page for the good and bad heating and air brands. No one paid me to be higher on that list, unlike a lot of other lists that you see on the internet. My whole goal is to help you buy that heating and air system and avoid a lot of the headaches and scams that a lot of other homeowners have to deal with. So before you spend thousands, check that out. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.